I will uh, present you my first uh, multiprog script which I made. It's uh, not a complicated script, but it's training my skills for for other scripts in the future. Due to my um, programming skills are not uh, on JavaScript, I need to train myself. So let's first begin to import the released script. As you can see, I don't have any script imported. I will click on the import. I saved on my desktop the exported script file which it's already been compiled as you can see we have a uh, type ECU who made the script the year the script name and let's hit on the run if we imported the script so it's telling us it's running the script automatically it's going to select uh, the default ECU which I tired the bench protocol reading and normally the EEPROM decode function will, uh, will work after I release the script only by reading an ECU and have the ECU connected to the programmer I will not uh, release uh, by loading a offline file but right now for the test purpose I have only this option EEPROM decode if I try to read I don't have any ECU connected to my programmer and it will uh, run into an error yeah but if I click on decode EEPROM I have on my desktop uh, a MED95 test EEPROM saved just for this test case it's automatically loaded in the external buffer EEPROM and you can see here the emo status one emo status it's on I have a programming mistake I should not show the number one here but I will fix the pin code from this uh, EEPROM which I loaded, also it's a EEPROM randomly grabbed from internet. We have the component security. The VIN, I don't think it's necessary to be shown, but let's see something interesting. So as you can see, I loaded the file and it's showing him on. Normally, you will have uh, decode data, it will read the ECU and it will show automatically this, uh, this data. I will uh, introduce, I will show you in the work script also the emo off function, but right now I will make manually the emo off. So this is the emo off for MED95. I will save it also on my desktop. I will put med 95 e mo double m off test. I save the file. I will hit again on decode EEPROM. I will load the emo off. Uh, no, why it's not been saved? Okay, it's still showing him on, but I will need to fix it. Let me quick fix the script. I exit the script, but I can uh, go again and run the released script if I want. But I will exit. I will pause the video, fix uh, a little bit, tweak the code and uh, return to you. Okay, I'm back. It took me took me a while to fix the script. I had the wrong blocks on the emon emoff and the comparing uh, function. 
which has been made by me. I will load the released script. This is showing emo on one. The code there from it's showing like this. I will exit the script. I will go to my local script. This is the script. The decode function decode EEPROM has renamed only to decode and the emo of it will be added soon. So as you can see I will add also the automatically emo off. I will force to save a file and then write the modification to the issue. So I will force a backup. But if I click on decode I need to load the EEPROM Decode in progress, status uh, it's email on with green. Uh, this uh, work in progress script has more tweaks, but the idea is the same. The pin code, the component security, I forgot some dots here. The script version is 0.0, .0. it's a beta version, and of course, it will not be released yet. But let's load the emo off file. So automatically identified the emo off, the value from here and from here, from these hex addresses. It been changed to 0 0.2 and it's showing the status. It's decrypted the pin code, the component security, and this will be the script. If you want to do yourself the, the scripts, you can go to the local script editor, help, and it will open a nice tutorial where it say. If you don't know what it's the language, I said before, but I will say again, it's JavaScript. It's written somewhere here also. I don't know where. I will look. Let's see. Delete, release. Okay, yeah, the script programming related. It's the basic syntax, so it's written in JavaScript language. It's the basic one. Here are the value types of the data, what you can do, how you can use a function. There are some examples. Slice, substring to lowercase, uh, and so on. It will be very useful to, to read it and have a clue. It's nice, uh, you can make some functions. I made for myself a couple of functions to do what I need. But it's very useful documentation. It's a good point to start. I will close it. As you can see, I made myself hex to decimal. Well, it's only a easy function. Here I have a, a function which is checking me if the values are equal, but I have the hex to string, the buffer to hex, uh, everything made custom by me. But yeah, that's my, my first script which will be released soon. Thank you, bye bye.